Hey guys, my name is Sebastian. This is Resale Junkie. If you don't know, if you're new here, my wife and I always sell used clothing for a full-time living from home and we teach others how to do the same. So if you're interested in that, you should definitely subscribe. We need all the help we can get because our social media obviously sucks. So today what we're going to talk about is how to add employee access for your virtual assistant to your eBay store. Okay, so this is our eBay homepage. Okay, you go to ebay.com, it's the page. So all we're going to do is click on my eBay. <clears throat> now eBay doesn't make this very easy which is really odd I'm not sure why they do this but what you need to do is you need to scroll down to wherever it says selling tools now your layout might be different you may have rearranged this your selling tools thing might be down here it honestly you may not even show it you may have to go through here and actually add it so what I did there was let me just show you guys sorry I kind of really quickly went through that so if you scroll down on the my ebay page at the end there'll be this personalize your overview you just click that and then you can just add your certain things so there's some things on here that i just don't really care to see i don't really need them so yeah that's a little fun fact as well but what we're going to do is we're going to go under selling tools under here what we see is manage store okay so we're going to click that now again, eBay does not make this easy. I'm not sure why eBay has never been like employee friendly. It's really odd, but I'm really, really hoping with this new uh, CEO that maybe some things will change. So what we're gonna do is on the left-hand side, which actually, by the way, guys, this managed store, no one ever talks about this. What is this? Why is this still from the 90s or like the early 2000s? Like what's going on, man? Like they need to, this is weird if your ebay doesn't look like this like it doesn't kick you back to some old system or something like that drop a comment below maybe there's something wrong with me but like this is just weird ebay it's so funny you find like all these random pages sometimes but okay what you do is press permissions and then you're here this is it guys this is the page that you're supposed to get to it ebay does not make it easy whatsoever okay so on here we can clearly add users I'm not going to go through the whole process because it makes me verify my account, all that good stuff. But you can clearly see I have uh, employee number one, which is my employee that uses stuff. So what he can do is create and edit drafts. He can publish and revise listings. He can research products using Terapeak. He can download our order reports, which all that stuff is super critical. Now you can limit this stuff. Um, let me see. Let's edit his user. Okay, we can't. I don't want to log in and do all that stuff. Let's see if he'll show us the activity log. Maybe at least this shows that. Okay, so cool. You actually get to see what he's done. So employee one created vintage Adidas tapered plant listing. So you can see everything that your person's done. You don't have to be like weird about it. Um, again, eBay doesn't make this easy to find. So I really hope this video helped guys. If it did, please like it. It really does help the algorithm on YouTube and subscribe for more eBay tips. Visit us at resellerjunkie.com for a really, really cool blog and for a free course into reselling. Again, guys, thanks. Hope this helped. And my name's Sebastian. Cheers.